Hi, I'm Margie Vimers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of our basic level courses from Section 3, Lesson 8, which is all about estimates and purchase orders. Um, in this lesson, there are four exercises. Three of them are critical, like you absolutely have to understand how this works in order to pass the test. Absolutely. So make sure you have done all of those exercises before moving on to this final exercise for the basic level. For the advanced level, there's still two more, there's still two more lessons because we get even deeper. Uh, but let's take a look at our um, exercise for today, which is converting an estimate to an invoice. Now, in order to convert an estimate to an invoice, you have to have already created the invoice. So make sure that you go back and do that exercise if you haven't already, because we're going to just kind of pick it. We're just picking up uh, where the story left off. All right. So, so far we have sent off the estimate. We've converted the estimate to a purchase order. We've converted the purchase order to a um to an expense. And now what we're going to do is we're going to send off that in, that uh, invoice off to Kate. So let's go ahead and read our scenario. If you would like a copy of this exercise or you'd like to find out more about our courses, all the links and information is in the description. All right. So the outdoor background for Gevelberg Photography is complete. It's now time to send out the invoice. So what are we going to do? We are going to first go into our sample company. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to find that estimate that we created before. OK, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to the left navigation bar. We're going to go to sales and select customers. OK, from here. You're going to see, you see that this, there is a, a blue box right here. This is called the money bar. And so on the money bar, then you are uh, just going to select the estimate right there. And then once that comes up, all you have to do is select start invoice right next to it. Now, when we do that, you'll notice that this drawer pops up. Um, and this drawer has all of the information from that estimate that we created in the previous exercise. So I, all I have to do is um, click add right there, and it's going to pop in all of the information from our estimate. But here's the thing. The design ended up only taking eight hours, so we're going to change that from the original estimate, which was 10. So you can, once you set the estimate, that's not set in stone. Once you actually go to invoice it, you can go right here, and we're just going to change that to eight. I'm going to click out of, out of it. When I click out of it, it resets the math up there. And then my final step is just to click save and close. All right, so that's it for this exercise. If you have, uh, if you found it helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified every time that we post a new exercise or tips about getting your pro advisor certification, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this exercise, about any of our courses, or if you have suggestions on um, things that you would like practice in, uh, in using QuickBooks Online, uh, you'd like us to create some exercises for you, just let us know in the comments below. All right, that's it for me. I can't wait to hear your success story.